right, these are the steps that we're going to follow as we use the half reaction method in acidic solution to balance the following redox reaction. Let's go ahead and assign oxidation numbers to each atom in this reaction so that we can identify the oxidation and the reduction. Because oxygen is always negative 2 in dichromate, chromate, chromium needs to be positive 6. This will give us a total oxidation number of negative 2 for dichromate. We'll continue using oxidation numbers that we know to determine the oxidation numbers that we don't. Negative 2 for oxygen and positive 1 for hydrogen. With some algebra, we'll discover that carbon's oxidation number here is positive 2. The chromium ion is positive 3. And in carbon dioxide, negative 2 for the oxygens, positive 4 for carbon. So we see that we have both an oxidation and a reduction going on. Chromium changes oxidation number from positive 6 to positive 3, so that's a reduction. Carbon changes oxidation number from positive 2 to positive 4, that's oxidation. Now we're ready to balance. For step one, we'll write separate half reactions for the reduction and the oxidation. Here we have the reduction half reaction of chromate, excuse me, dichromate, forming the chromium 3 ion. And the oxidation reaction of ethanol, forming carbon dioxide. Now, let's start with the reduction half reaction. And we'll first balance all the elements except for hydrogen and oxygen in this half reaction. So we're going to balance chromiums using a coefficient 2 on the chromium 3 ion on the right. Next up, we'll balance oxygens by adding water molecules to whichever side needs more oxygen. There's seven oxygen atoms on the left, so we're going to add seven water molecules to the right. Next up, we're going to balance hydrogen atoms by adding H plus ions, hydrogen ions, to whichever side is deficient in hydrogen. There's 14 hydrogens on the right, so in this case we need 14 H plus ions on the left. Now, we need to balance charge by adding electrons. There's a total charge of positive 12 on the left side of this equation. Total charge of positive 6 on the right side. So we're going to have to add 6 electrons to the left side to bring the charge down so that it's positive 6 on both sides. Now we should check to make sure we have a completely balanced half reaction. The total charge on the left is positive 6, and on the right, positive 6 as well. There are 14 hydrogen atoms on each side, 2 chromium atoms on each side, and 7 oxygen atoms on each side. This is a balanced half reaction. To balance the other half reaction, we're going to balance all the atoms except for hydrogen and oxygen first. So we need a coefficient of 2 on the right side of this equation. Now we're going to balance the oxygens by adding water molecules. There's one oxygen on the left and four on the right. So we need three water molecules on the left side of this equation. To 
balance hydrogen, we add H plus. We've got six, five, and one, so 12 hydrogen atoms on the left, and none on the right. So we need to add 12 H plus atoms, H plus ions, to the right side of this equation. We're going to balance charge next by adding electrons. There's a positive 12 charge on the right, no charge on the left. So we need to add 12 electrons to the right side of this equation to balance the charge. Next up, we need to get the same number of electrons on both sides of the half reactions. Since there's six electrons in the equation on the left and 12 on the right, we're gonna to have to double all the coefficients of the leftmost half reaction before we add them together. Now we'll add the two half reactions together and cancel any identical species, starting with the electrons, 12 on each side. Since there's 28 hydrogen ions on the left and 12 on the right, we can cancel 12 of those out and we get 16 hydrogen ions on the right. So 14 waters on the right and three waters on the left, we can cancel three of those out and get 11 water molecules on the right. Adding the two reactions together gives us 16H plus plus two dichromate plus one ethanol yields four chromium three, 11 water and two carbon dioxide. Now we check that the charges are balanced on each side of the equation. Positive 16 and two negative twos is positive 12. On the right, four times three, positive 12 there as well. Let's check the atoms, 16 and five and one. That's a total of 22 hydrogens on the left. 11 times two, 22 on the right. We got four chromiums on the left four chromiums on the right, 14 oxygens on the left, Oop, 15 oxygens on the left, and we got 11 and four 15 oxygens on the right. Two carbons, two carbons. This is a balanced redox equation. So how do we use the half reaction method if this reaction takes place in basic solution? There aren't excess hydrogen ions in a basic solution. There's excess hydroxide. But we'll follow the same steps that we did for balancing an acidic solution until we're done. And then we add hydroxide ions to both sides of the balanced redox reaction. We'll add enough so that we can turn all the H plus into water molecules. And the other side that didn't have excess H plus will have excess hydroxide ions. This often involves some more canceling of water molecules as we simplify the equation to be the lowest whole number coefficients. Let's look at an example of a redox reaction that we need to balance in a basic solution. We'll assign oxidation numbers, zero for the silver. I don't know the oxidation number of carbon or nitrogen, so we'll assign negative one to the whole ion. Zero for oxygen. Again, negative one for the whole cyanide ion. There's two of those and a total of negative one charge here. 
So the silver has got to be a positive one oxidation number. This ensures that the total of this ion complex is negative one. Writing our oxidation half reaction, we've got silver and cyanide forming this silver cyanide complex ion. I added a water molecule to the right side of the, re the reduction half reaction because there's water molecules in aqueous solution. And that's the only thing that this oxygen could have been reduced to. So now I'll balance the oxidation half reaction. We'll make sure that all the atoms, except for oxygen and hydrogen, which aren't present, are balanced. Coefficient 2 on cyanide does just that. The oxygen atoms aren't present, but they're balanced. Hydrogens as well. Now to balance charge, I've got negative 2 on the left and negative 1 on the right. I need to add one electron to the right side of this half reaction to bring the total charge of both sides of the half reaction to negative two. Now for our reduction half reaction. We're gonna balance everything but oxygen and hydrogen. Well, that's done. So now we balance oxygen by adding water molecules to whichever side of the reaction needs more water, needs more oxygen, and that's the right. Now I'm going to balance hydrogens by adding H plus four of them to the left side of this half reaction so that we have four hydrogen atoms on both sides of the reaction. The same process we use if this was an acidic solution. To balance charge, I've got positive four on the left and no charge on the right, so I need to add four electrons to the left side of this half reaction to bring the total charge on both sides of the half reaction to zero. Now, the least common multiple of one and four is four. So I need to multiply all the coefficients of the left half reaction by four so that the electrons cancel when I add these two half reactions together. So I can cancel the four electrons from each side of the equations and add them together. If this reaction were in acidic solution, this would be a balanced redox reaction. Four silvers on the left, four on the right. Eight cyanides on each side. Eight carbons, eight nitrogens. Four hydrogens on the left, four hydrogens on the right. Two oxygens and two oxygens. Charge-wise, we've got negative eight and positive four, which is negative four. And we got four negative ones, which is also negative four. But this reaction did not take place in acidic solution. It's in basic solution. So we need to get rid of these four extra hydrogen ions by adding four hydroxide ions to both sides of the equation. So we need more than one. Four hydroxides on the left and four hydroxides on the right. This will combine the four hydroxides and the four hydrogen ions to make four water molecules for the left side of this equation. Now we can do some canceling and combining. The two waters on the right can be canceled with two of the waters on the left. Combining all of this gives us four silver, eight cyanide ions, two water molecules, one oxygen molecule yields four of the silver cyanide complex ions. 
and four hydroxide ions. This is a balanced redox reaction in basic solution. Let's check the atoms. On the left side, there are four silver ions, silver atoms, and there's four on the right. We got eight carbons, eight carbons, eight nitrogens, eight nitrogens. We got four hydrogens, two and two, four oxygens on each side as well. Charge-wise, we got negative eight on the left, and four negative ones, and another four negative ones. That's negative eight on the right. Balanced, 